Hello there, have a seat. Welcome to Captain's Log number dash four QDW five seven two Z to the squared pi infinitum. Have a seat. What if humans had chairs attached to their backs so that no matter where you were, you would have a convenient and comfortable place to sit? In fact, you can each choose a chair according to personal style and preference. If this becomes a thing, everybody has a chair, it's very popular, affixed to their back. Ashley Furniture would no longer have to have their weekly going out of business sale because these chairs would be hot. They would be in such high demand People would be clawing and scratching at the door saying, put it on my back now, please. Just staple it right on, take a hot glue gun, I don't know, a nail gun, just, just put it on the back. Unless we forget the holy BOGO, the buy one, get one, where you buy one chair attached to your back and get one free attached your back as well. Now, if you were smart, you'd choose a massage chair. Specifically, a shiatsu chair. <laughs> and if you were fat or bulky, you'd be able to get away with a nice, plush love seat for two. But let's be honest. That love seat would probably only fit that one really fat person. Imagine sitting in this baby all day long. <clears throat> Maybe some people might be really into recliners. So not only would they have a chair attached to their back, but an automatic ottoman too. Now let's be real. Humans would have to seriously get in shape or evolve <clears throat> one of the two for this to come to pass i mean most humans <clears throat> have back problems as it is without lugging around a chair admit it think about it think about it leather wing back chairs leather wing back chairs why else would they call them leather wingback chairs if they don't come out of your back just like wings? They're chair wings. Oh, it just makes sense. I Even up here in space, I can see that. I see you through my fancy high-powered telescope. And the truth is, most of you have a hard time carrying a solitary grocery bag into your house from your car. I'm not referring to myself, of course, because I hike around my space mountain packing my super ultra awesome space gun and shoot fiercely crazy rabid raccoons. But we are talking about you Earth humans and not me. So if you were to adopt this idea, then you would need to make some drastic changes. Why not? If Earth humans continue degrading themselves and exercise nothing but laziness, this could work as incentive for the unmotivated. And really, with all this talk about stimulating the economy, this could be the ultimate in restoring America. I can see it now. A chair for every person. Who wouldn't go for that? I'd sign an 1100-page congressional bill if it was all about affixing a permanent chair to my back like a set of wings. You lazy people should love that. Here's the motto. Why fly when you can sit? It would be so awesome. The chair would fold into your back 
like wings. And then you would press a button on your inner wrist like Spider-Man. And like webs pop up. Uh, and uh, webs out of pop out of your chair, right out of your back. Oh, fun times would surely ensue. Oh, but then what happens? Regulation. Earth humans must maintain a certain physical regime in order to get a chair. Admit it! In your current state, you couldn't lug this around. It wouldn't be good for the economy or otherwise for people to get a chair affixed to their backs and then plop over dead. Talk about bad business and frivolous lawsuits. People don't bother to prepare themselves for the shock of carrying around several extra hundred pounds and then ruin it for the rest of us. <laughs> I think I speak for everyone when I say, screw the person who dies, and I don't get my chair because of it? Just because they are number 235 at the front of the line unprepared? And I get stuck with the lottery number 1,234, right? B-Y-O-C. Bring your own chair. Not a problem. It's affixed right there on my back. Think about the price of cars. They would plummet without the added cost of chairs. Oh, yes. This would really be a plan to boost the economy.